Pants's homies, Mick Flipper Pants, all back in this hizzy, back at you again with yet more Sifu. We're doing the Prodigal Son run, doing the Prodigal Son run. There's nothing I love more than being a son, especially if I'm prodigal. Um, ahem. I am taking a break from working on the next four. Let's play thumbnails at the same time because I'm a maniac and I just I need to give my brain a break and of course why why not give my brain a break by making it work even harder I guess I don't know let me take a look at the costumes I have right now that's the default I don't want the default well wow, that's embarrassing at least this one's different I do like master hand Chun Wing Chun kickboxing tracksuit professional I really want to get professional. It looks sick. Wisdom. Young man suit. Enforced armor. Stunt double. Jumpsuit. Urban flyer. Let's do the jumpsuit for this. Yeah, it's very artsy. Now we're about to do the museum. The artsiest level in the game. I'm playing this on my lunch break that I'm giving myself. I'm having a protein shake for lunch. Mm-hmm. And it's filled with Greek yogurt, uh, strawberries, blueberries, a banana, some honey, salt, and protein powder. It's a lot of protein. The protein powder made this shake like four times as thick. <laughs> and so I'm having to deal with that. <laughs> Uh, what's it called? I have started the, I have a, I'm officially starting the next phase of my health, fitness, and nutrition journey, and I have to massively increase my protein intake to almost double what I have been eating, and I need to figure out a not super expensive way to do that, and I haven't done the math yet. I just have some leftover protein powder from when I was working out more frequently. Uh, I would usually have some pro a protein shake after a workout because it would just help. Um, but turns out even when I was working out, I still wasn't eating enough protein. But I wasn't really working out, out that hard anyway. So, you know, <clears throat> it is what it is. There will be, I'm planning to make a vlog about it starting, I'm going to start shooting that vlog next week. I, had to f I still have to figure out the workout part as well. I figured out uh, some of the meals. Boop. 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 There we go. Oh, yeah. That's what I love to see. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go, Pepe. Did you see all those guys I killed? Because I did. I saw them all, and I killed them all, because I'm a good boy. Uh, is there a shrine down here? Eh. Eh. Take that, and that. Eh, yeah. I shouldn't have done that. Eh. Pick this one up instead. Because I want to use my sword. I'm going to swing my sword. Swing it swiftly and swivel around. That's the key. That's the key to winning sword sword fights. To swing your sword swiftly and then swivel around, swivel around with your footwork. Footwork is everything. In most athletic ventures, you know, boxing, kickboxing, sword fighting, love making. It's all about the footwork. <laughs> it just tickled myself oh so much. You're the one that took down Sean. Mm hmm You'll suffer for dishonoring him. I'm sorry I dishonored your boyfriend. I also straight murdered him as well. <laughs> Sorry I'm a disappointment. 
But, you know, I'm just not as tall as Sean. So that's just gonna come with some disadvantages that I'll have over him. I'm sorry. I didn't do my normal strategy of just spamming throwing the light bulbs at them. That is a fun strategy. I should have done that. I guess that's something I regret. Fuck! Oh wow, okay. Come 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 on, Matthew, you can do better than that. Aw, oh, you mother. I hate you. I hope you die in a fire. Damn, that was a pretty good attack. Too bad I am also pretty good at attacking. And remember we're going for that. I don't know if it wants me to also unlock the death counter ones. I can't because I haven't died yet. And I think next I'm going to go for the um, the guard break. Guard break ones, because that's going to be the most useful. Oh. God, this level looks so fucking good. Be careful. He's got him up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the way. That's the way I like to do it. Yes, sirree, really, that's the way. That's the way it ought to be done. Looking for something. I'm looking for your mother. Hope to have sex many sexual encounters with her. That would be amazing. Oh, yeah. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Bye. Taking this. It's mine now. It's mine now. You wouldn't even know what to do with such a long, thick piece of wood anyway. But I do. I know exactly what to do. <laughs> Lots of personal experience. <laughs> mm. <sighs> yummy, yummy. In my tummy, wummy. Ah. I thought I blocked that. Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Ooh, yeah. There we go. Oh! Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, damn it! Oh, yeah. Pow! <laughs> yes! Actually, the spinning hook kick is an excellent follow-up uh, for from a sidekick. Uh, so's a spinning uh, hammer fist as well. Both excellent follow-ups. Because you can kind of push off with the sidekick and use it to um, increase the speed of your spin. And therefore make the timing of the attack a bit better. Oh, yeah. There we go, there we go, there we go. That's the way to do it, baby! That's the way to do it, baby! Stop this meaningless crusade here. No! long since abandoned this life of violence and bloodshed. Well, I have done nothing but embrace violence and bloodshed, and I hope you're ready to face it. Nobody outruns their past. Not even her. Uh, uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, <laughs> ha! Take that, motherfucker! That's right. That's right. You don't know. You don't know what you got yourself into by fighting Mr. Banana Man over here. That's right. I'm Mr. Banana Man. And nothing can stop me, Mr. Banana Nana Man. All right, let's go. Let's go, everyone. We're going to have a nice artsy adventure throughout this art museum. All right. That if we took the time to stand out ah, look at all these blokes over here trying to kick my ass too bad they don't know how to kick ass as hard as I do they've had lots of training you know lots of training to kick a bunch of ass I don't know how I don't know how uh, Australians say ass so the thing about doing accents that is what I got paid to do most often whenever I did get voice acting gigs was accents. It's my specialty. I'm a bit of a parrot. Um, and there are one of the things that I found is there are methods to learn accents. There are tra like traditional acting techniques that are acting, not techniques, acting teachings that um, unfortunately are kind of neglected in the United States when it comes to teaching acting. Unless you get into fucking, like, Juilliard, you're probably not going to learn a lot of super traditional, um, like, super established um, acting classes. They're just kind of be like, oh, just work on it. But, like, how to do accents in, uh, in the UK, at least, like, there's a reason why... There's a reason why UK actors are so good at doing accents, and it's because it is like a part of the curriculum that they face, and uh, that just doesn't really exist in the United States outside of, you know, private classes um, and like, you know, Juilliard. So you're already investing just a shit ton of money into it at that point, and you're probably already, like, an adult. And, and it's just harder. It's just harder to practice voice malleability as an adult. You can still do it. It's just more difficult. Um, and so, you just, you lack that. And one thing that I have learned uh, when it comes to accents is that, like, yeah, there's some general rules about accents that you can follow, but like, uh, what's it called? The Australian accent, for instance, is just kind of a combination of Southern, of American Southern and English. Um, but that doesn't always work. That doesn't always work. They say some shit just kind of weird and randomly in in Australia, and that's true with uh, the English dialects as well, where if you have, oh, um, if you have, oh man, I can't remember how to do a Cockney. It's been so long since I've actually done accents. But like, you know how, uh, what's Cockney? Fuck, God damn it! oh my God, this is embarrassing. I don't remember. Oh, hello, 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 what have we here? They when you, uh, no, I don't think this is Cockney, but there's this accent from England that sounds a little like this. A little, but see, I did the the R wrong. I said like, but that's not how it's done in this one. It's more like like, you know. It's just it's just a fun thing to do. It's just so fun. It's not. It, it's, it, you just kind of you kind of have to expose yourself to these actions, see how these people actually talk to figure out the little intricities because it's those intricities that you're going to get wrong and make it sound uh, a little, a little less, uh, a little less authentic. And 
the ones that are particularly difficult for many Americans in particular are Australian and of course the Scottish accent as well because in those instances there are pronounce little intricate pronunciations that don't follow the general rule of thumb for those that you have when you're doing those accents. They just don't work out with what's in your mind because they, they don't, they don't actually, they don't actually like that I did it or did it again or did the war wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess what I'm saying is, is that it's like, when you're learning accents, you will learn these rules when you're doing them, right? And then, but the thing about real life is that rules are made up and they're often not followed and that includes with accents so every now and then um every now and then when you're doing an accent you're gonna ha if you want the accent to actually sound authentic and good you're gonna have to break those rules that you learned because that's just there are aspects of the accent that don't follow the rules that you that you have figured out for the accent and that's true and that's that's one of the things like i said that makes australian in particular very difficult especially for american actors it's really really hard to get right um And that's not, that's also true for American accents as well. We have so many different accents and dialects. It gets, it gets complicated, dude. Accents are fun. I should learn more about that. I, I would like to learn more about the, like, etymology of accents rather than just how it sounds. I never really went that deep because for when I was originally practicing them, it wasn't out of fascination it was out of wanting to improve my skill in mimicking accents so i don't need to know the etymology necessarily i just need to practice my vocal muscles enough to where i can replicate the sounds that i'm hearing The one I got hired the most was this quote-unquote German accent. That's what it was described as in many, many, in many, many uh, job affairs. Oh, that was French. Fuck. That's, that is what it was described as in many, many job offers. Nobody in Germany sounds like this. No one, not a single German person I have ever met sounds like this. This is much closer to Swedish or n n Swedish or Netherlands or whatever, whatever the fuck, wherever the fuck this accent is from, it's, it doesn't sound anything like German. I think the reason why it's associated with German is that those countries do speak German, but they are not German. I destroyed the little sword I was trying to use to help me cheese Kuroki. Because she is a very, very... Uh, God damn it! That was French again! She is a very, very difficult boss. Without that little... Without, she's difficult enough with the little knife. The little sword. I did French again! What the fuck? <laughs> no, I just want to do French! I just want to do French! My French accent's terrible. Technically, so is my German, because it's not a German accent. Even though, when when I was hired to do a German accent, that's the actual accent they wanted. It's not even like an... So, my French accent is terrible, but it's very clearly an exaggerated, cartoonish French accent. That's the same with my Australian at the time, when I was still able to kind of do an Australian. It wasn't real Australian accent, but, like, you could tell. My quote unquote German accent doesn't even come fucking close to an actual German accent at all. It is like an absolute farce. Ah, oh, fuck. Got the. God, God damn it. 